Hey, real estate agents, it's Jeff Underwood here with the weekly closer along with Joey Sampaga, the man with the plan. We are the real estate marketing maniacs bringing this show to you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How's it going, Joey? What's going on, guys? Yeah, we're having some fun. Yes. We're going to have a great guest with us here today. And the guest is Carl Tunberg with Midland Real Estate Alliance. How's it going, Carl? It's going fantastic today. How about you? Doing great. Awesome. Awesome. We're glad you're here. Man, we were, uh, so the guest. You know, don't know this, but we were talking beforehand. And Carl is super funny, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. We were laughing a lot. A real um, deadpan. No, oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> so, Carl, first thing we want to do is just introduce who you are, how long you've been in the business, um, and what compelled you to get into the business. How about that? Well, um, I I don't even know how many years Uh-oh. it's been. Yeah, it's, we got uh, him now. Yeah, I started uh, at the turn of the century. <laughs> about 150 now um, <laughs> feels like it I, I actually came to Arizona in uh, 1980 to go to ASU and uh, I got into the business college thought it was uh, kind of an interesting uh, area to pursue and then I got into real estate got a, actually got a degree in real estate from ASU okay. so that was where it started and uh, came right out of school and, and started doing uh, uh, real estate so that's where it started and a long time ago. A long time ago? Yes. So what? So now, obviously, starting mm-hmm. as a single agent, but right now you've got a, a team or a group mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at, at Midland Real Estate Alliance, uh, we have, uh, we're a small boutique uh, brokerage. We have uh, just over 30, 35 agents right okay. now. Um, and then I- within Midland, I have my own uh, real estate team. Yeah. So it's composed of, uh, I have, three buyer's agents and then I have a listing specialist okay and uh, and then I do all the janitorial work at night <laughs> there we go to work out well <laughs> <laughs> doing really well there yeah huh? yeah you, you know that that you stay late because <laughs> in case you get people show up right it's like exactly working, yeah. working yeah. at the front desk or whatever okay. you call the office at nine o'clock and most likely I will Carl's going to pick up. <laughs> Carl will pick up who's going to test him we'll that's get right. his number later that's right um, so Carl, tell us what you're doing right now to get business in 2017. What, what, um, kind of, what's your main, your main way to generate leads? You know, I, I, I really feel that now, ten years ago, twenty years ago, real estate was about relationships. Uh, I don't think that's changed. I know the technology has changed dramatically, yeah. and that you have to participate in that uh, to, you know, I mean, if you want to grow. So I am very involved in uh, technology. I uh, have a great new CRM system I'm using. Uh, I do uh, internet um, advertising. I do a lot of social media. Yeah. Uh, but my latest favorite craze is video. Video. Yeah, we're talking video. And, and we've heard video for a while, right? It's just this. Yes. Uh, and I can't remember yeah. the stat, Joey. I think we just talked about it earlier today. The um, um, When it comes to Facebook posts, that less than 1% of actual posts are video. So there's a big opportunity, I think, for real estate agents um, that have a good message to share. And it doesn't always have to be real estate related. It can be something fun. Um, So tell us what you're doing. So what have you seen or what types of videos you're doing and what have you seen that uh, do to your business or what kind of impact has it had? Um, I don't think it's a direct, uh, it doesn't have a direct quotient like you do a video today, you sell a house tomorrow, but I think, Putting your message out there, uh, informing yeah. the public uh, about what's going on, right. uh, talking about new listings you have, talking about general real estate trends, uh, you know, posting um, uh, anything that's of interest yeah. to people, I think is beneficial, helpful. So. Absolutely. Yep. Um, and I think people need to realize that, that with any strategy, um, even with video, they sh- you know, people can't think that I'm going to put one thing out and all of a sudden... It's going to generate all these leads, right? Yep. Um, there has to be consistency, right? Yep. And y- you have to stick with something yeah. for a while. For I think another thing that's up. really important on the video is that you have some passion. So uh, you got to love what you do. I love selling real estate. I love putting deals together. I love helping people achieve their dreams. Yeah. Uh, so uh, um, in combination with some causes uh, right now I'm supporting and have been supporting the uh, Arizona Animal Welfare League okay um, uh, donating $250 out of my each one of my commissions to the AAWL and the SPCA well, that's uh, for 2017 so I think it's important uh, you know to, to have a cause to you know whatever it is yeah. uh, to get that message out to people 
and to help other people that need help. Well, my so, li- my wife absolutely. would love you. Oh, good. Yes. All right. well, <laughs> she loves dogs. Yeah. Is she in the market for a home? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a real estate agent. Too. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. You're a maniac. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, I totally forgot where we were. No. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, as, so, yeah, so video, I think I totally agree. You have to have some type of passion behind yep. what you're doing. Uh, as far as outreach and supporting other, um, you know, other endeavors, um, I mean, how cool would it be to support but then also document that support using video, using yep. social, um, that you're involved, getting that out to people that you know. Uh, it, it's kind of like um, Seth Godin talks about in his book, Tribes, right? Um, there are enough people that want to be involved with the same things that you want to be involved with. They're just waiting for somebody to step up and, and share and take lead. Yep. Um, I think if more agents would do things like that, yep. uh, they would see that reciprocal um, that effect, right? Absolutely. And, and again, it's not do something because you're going to get business. It's do something because you're passionate about it, that you have a heart for that, and you know, the business will most likely yeah. come later. Yeah, I, th- I really think it to be successful in this business, you really have to have a desire to help other people. And um, whether it's leading them uh, in learning the business, whether it's helping them find a home, yeah. a building or whatever, I think you got to have a passion for working with people and helping them. Absolutely. So, yeah. so do you have a specific niche maybe that you, or, or maybe um, are you, Working mostly listings or buyers or what do you think yeah, you guys are yeah, doing? Right um, now? It's kind of all over the board. I uh, I have a, a kind of a long background in uh, home building. Uh, I kind of grew up in home building. Yeah. Uh, in Arizona, I worked for some very large builders in town. Some private builders had my own uh, home building and development company, and uh, so having that background in understanding construction and uh, understanding what it takes to make a home the way somebody wants it yeah i think that kind of helps my client in assessing different sure. options so absolutely um, I, I utilize that background a lot um, okay okay what about um what would you say has been one of your biggest obstacles in real estate that and then what what kind of things did you do to get over that hump yeah probably the biggest thing was the uh six inches between my ears yeah oh yeah my brain (laughs) headspace right (laughs) yeah Yeah. um it it, it is i mean as a uh, as an entrepreneur and a a business owner uh, you know you uh, uh, the buck stops with you you have to get up in the morning day in day out you got to be consistent uh, probably the biggest thing that I've done uh, recently that to kind of, uh, you know, keep myself regenerated yeah. or charged up is... Uh, Listen I, to the uh, podcast, right? No, I'm just yeah, teasing. I, it's <laughs> every morning I, no. I do repeats of uh, the marketing yeah. maniacs. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, uh, I joined a coaching program uh, last year, and, uh, and uh, so I've got... A coach, uh, he's uh, on the other side of the country, so he can, he can only call me. He can't he can't uh, show up at my office. Got it. But uh, no, it's a, seriously, it's a, it's great to have uh, a, a perspective. You know, I've sold thousands of houses and uh, right. uh, you know built thousands of houses, and uh, uh, you know I, I just feel like you're always learning and right, for sure. uh, to have someone to hold you accountable and to set goals, to make a plan, to have a vision. Uh, those kind of things are are. Right critical to maintaining and keeping consistency absolutely so does the coach um so as far as goal setting so accountability i would would assume maybe some motivation behind that too or Uh, i i I got a lot of motivation i got i got uh you know i still got a couple kids in college and uh oh yeah another one coming and uh uh, a family (laughs) and a wife i i'm motivated so are you the truck driving around that has the license plate that says kids atm (laughs) i've seen a couple of those running around town one with a z and one with an s anyway yeah um this that and the other thing (laughs) yeah for sure hey tell us about (laughs) you showed us a video before we got started Mm -hmm. a really cool video yep of a uh, new community yep. that you're helping out with. So uh, the video is cool. People need to go watch that. I think on uh, Facebook it's, uh, what, 30 38 yeah. North? 38 North just is, uh, the, is just our Just the number 38 and then the word North. You should check that out. Yeah. So tell us about that. So, uh, you know, I've been involved in real estate development and home building and real estate for a long time. Uh, I came across this opportunity in Arcadia Light. 
uh, on 38th Street between uh, Indian School and Thomas Road. Okay. Uh, about three years ago, uh, purchased some land, did a little small assemblage, uh, and then went through the uh, development process and uh, we're building 22 homes here in the little, it's a brand new gated community. Yeah. Uh, because I bought it so long ago, uh, <laughs> the prices are still uh, relatively affordable for that area. We're okay. starting in the low 300s. Uh, and wow, I think it combines, uh, it combines uh, some of the architectural styles of the Arcadia Light, that, that uh, farmhouse look uh, with the, you know, the batten board and the shutters and the brick. Uh, with modern conveniences of a brand new home. So you got you smart go. homes with, you know, uh, tankless gas water heaters and high efficiency air conditioners and uh, smart home plans and that's all cool. kinds of super cool things. No, that's so awesome. In, you, the, in the low 300s in Arcadia Light. Yeah, what's up Come with on. that? Hey, yeah. you have to check that yeah. out. Make yeah. sure to go to 38 yeah. North. Yeah. On yeah. Tell them Carl sent you. There you go. Please. Carl sent you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, but the video is cool. You have to check it out. It's uh, yep. definitely a lifestyle type video. For sure. Um, all right, Carl. So we're going to get into the next segment. Are you ready to get in the ring with the Maniacs? Let's rock and roll. All right. Here we go. Oh, we should put the masks on. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and <laughs> let's do the masks. We'll do the Come on, let's Come do on. the masks. No. Um, you want the mask on for the for the questions? <laughs> All right, let's do you the want mask. That? Yep. yep. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. I We're want gonna... the gold mask. All right. Yeah. You have the gold mask. The gold one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I gotta take my. Uh, okay. If you're watching, yeah, we're. Uh, They're putting on the masks. I'm gonna put on the mask real quick. So Jeff is taking off his beanie. All right. And he's putting on. <laughs> A camouflage colored mask. And you got Carl with the gold All right. mask. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Can I still hear through this mask? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I think I can. <laughs> can you hear? Okay. Hold good. On. Cool. <laughs> All this right. Great. All right. I'm good. Let's okay. Go. So our first time where we have the masks <coughs> on during getting the ring with the maniacs. Okay. So here we go, Carl. Yep. What's the best advice anyone's ever given you? Keep on going. Never stop. Great advice. How about your favorite mobile app? Showing time. Showing time. You like oh, that? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you what. I show a lot of houses. That saves me a lot of time well, and I'm aggravation. Sure it does. If you agents aren't on showing time and you don't have your sellers dialed into showing time, make it happen. Yes. With the mask. You'll get there a lot more showings. Absolutely. <laughs> um, how about share with the listeners one book that you would recommend? Uh, right now I'm reading uh, uh, Lead for God's Sake. It's a great story about leadership. Awesome. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Name one productivity tool or software that you use each day. Software, I would say uh, probably RE Homebase, my new CRM system. Yeah, you're telling yep. about it. Yep. It sounds yep. like a cool system. Yep, absolutely. All right, and so we have one more question. I'm going to have you draw it out of uh, a right. mask here. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we go. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Okay. If you could spend a day with someone famous, dead or living, who would it be? I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with. I was thinking Bob Dylan initially, but I think I'm gonna go with Abe Lincoln. Abe oh. Lincoln. Yeah, Bob Dylan, Abe Lincoln. I'm going. Bob's still around. I might have another shot at him down the road a couple of years. Abe Lincoln, you know. Yeah. You yeah. are one yeah. pathetic loser. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was an accident. <laughs> Wow, something, okay, something, Bob Dylan. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> something popped up on my phone, and I went to swipe it off, and it was one of those sound effects. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what they, that's we, what they call it. <laughs> it's right here. We may see. That nice. it, okay, we may have to cut that part. <laughs> No, I like that. <laughs> That's I didn't mean sad, it Jeff. I didn't that mean it. Sad. It was right there. <laughs> Jeff. My phone went and I went, oh, Jeff. swiped it up. Sorry, Thank God man. you can't That's see the not, tears. Oh, God. You got my mask on. You can't see the tears. <laughs> Okay, that was horrible. Jeez. You're blushing. Right. I am red. blushing. Underneath this mask, I am blushing. That He's is, not going to take that's it That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> horrible. Oh, my gosh. That was not That was not for anyone listening. <laughs> uh, Joey, you want to It's share? a rough crowd in here, yeah, Joey. It is. Oh, my it gosh. Is. Yeah. Well, you know, obvious were, for me, you know, being a pastor, uh, of course, it would be with Jesus. But if we were to answer a different one, right, I would probably go a little bit more sentimental and just say with my mother. 
I thought you were going to say Barry Manilow there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Manilow. <laughs> my wife would actually laugh at that because she knows I like Barry Manilow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, Next. Oh, <laughs> gosh, man. Jeff. You know, I haven't even thought I'm about g- this one. I really have no idea. Um, uh, Make sure you hit that loser oh button gosh. after. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where, where Where's that, that loser button? Okay. So this one's for me. You are one okay. pathetic loser. <laughs> I am so sorry. That is crazy. Spicoli. Um, yeah. So, you know, also being um, loving reading the, the Bible, I, I think it would be awesome to sit down with Paul. Paul. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other celebrities and things? I don't know. Uh, I really haven't given much thought to that. Who I asked a question. With? Come on. Yeah, Come on, I know. Well, this is for the guests, right? Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, maybe George Washington yeah. would be cool. All right. Right. Anyway. Hey, um, thank you so much for being here. If an agent was listening, they want to reach out to you, how would they get in contact with you? Uh, hold on. They yeah, probably, should, they the probably should see me without yeah. the mask. <laughs> take the masks off. All right. Oh, take the mask off. Oh, oh my. my. Yeah. Uh, so uh, our company is uh, Midland Real Estate Alliance. We're located in uh, Tempe, and uh, you can call the office at 480-325-1411. And even if you just want to chat about real estate, get some advice, talk about home building, development, or whatever you want, feel free to give me a call at any time. Yes, there we go. And Carl really is awesome. He's not a loser. Booyah! He's not. Booyah. <laughs> He's awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. I appreciate it. Hey, I had a great Enjoy time. It was very fun. So Real Estate Market Maniacs here at Security Title Studios signing off with another awesome episode. Thank you so much. See you later. Good job, guys. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? That was on? funny. Oh, I don't know if we leave it or not. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. I like it.